Hey guys, well this morning we're just out in the garage. Uh, we've been tanning some uh, some furs, trying to uh, utilize some of the less prime furs, uh, sm some of the smaller uh, beavers. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, turn these caster glands into uh, the best beaver bait you can uh, possibly come across. Uh, beavers are very territorial. You put a little bit of that on a stick uh, near your trap or your set and uh, you're pretty much going to catch a beaver. I use it just about every time I set a beaver trap, whether it's in a channel or what the case. I find it uh, really effective and it's uh, you know about as cheap as you can get. So I'll uh, show you what you need and uh, I'll show you how to make some and uh, we'll stock up for this coming year. So to get started you need a couple casters. This is from the two beavers that I had trapped with uh, Jeremy and Chris and Zach Fowler for the Wilderness Survival Challenge. Uh, there's still a bit of membrane on it, but I'm not too concerned. A little bit of blood I'd like to drain out, but uh, we'll use it all. There's some uh, oil from the oil sack. So we're going to use that. We've got some glycerin. I bought this at the fur harvesters here in North Bay. But uh, any glycerin you uh, find will work. Um, you can get it at uh, drug stores and that sort of thing. And uh, you want a food processor. I wouldn't recommend using your wife's. This is one that I use strictly for uh, beaver caster. It's kind of ugly and stinky, but it does a really good job. So we've mixed up our uh, glycerin and our beaver caster and you can see we kind of got this nasty mustardy looking uh, paste it's uh, fairly loose if you use uh, dried caster you're going to use a lot of uh, glycerin because you're replacing the water content with the glycerin and uh, you can see there's a big chunk, so I'm going to blend that up again, or maybe just throw it out. That's probably part of the, uh, the sack. Here's another chunk. But it's really hard to beat beaver caster as a lure. Um, you know, it's free. You're getting it from the animal anyways. Another big chunk there. The rest of this is pretty good caster, so I'm just going to get it into our jar. So that's pretty much what you get from the two casters but uh, you know you don't need a lot of it you know that amount right there is more than enough um, they can smell that a long ways just uh, from coming back in my garage I could really smell it and uh, we don't have the nose for things like uh, animals do so um, not a bad little bit I'm just gonna mix it up with some of that oil that was in the jar the castor oil and that's uh, ready to use this year and uh, I'm sure it'll catch me a beaver or two so if you're buying beaver lure you really should uh, consider just making your own um, <clears throat> it's pretty cheap you know I you can see how little I used out of the bottle it's uh, still pretty much full um, you know a mason jar you could use a Tupperware container you could use uh, You know just about anything mason jars are kind of a dime a dozen for the most part and uh, they're pretty durable I like they have a wide mouth so I can get in easy and stir it up and get a good wad 
you know stick that in the ground near a trap you can uh, guarantee a beaver is going to come by so we're always trying to save money and this is just another way of uh, saving a few bucks versus buying uh, the commercial stuff and I uh, just thought I would share. So cheers, guys, and uh, make your own.